y'all welcome to my channel so this time I am actually doing a project all by myself Lord help me for this whole video I want you guys to like hold your breath and pray that I don't screw, screw this whole thing up because I have no idea what I'm doing we're just gonna we're gonna wing it step by step and just try to problem solve as we go along so um, this plan comes from Anna White so I will put a link below that goes through the instructions um, but through the video, um, I'll be showing you guys what I do because her plans are very, they're not very specific. So like, for instance, so when we're building a teeter-totter, just so you know. Um, but for instance, I have to drill 5 eighths, a 5 eighths hole, and she doesn't really say how to do it. So I have a couple different options to do it, and I'm going to use what we have, and I'm not really sure how that's going to look yet because I really don't know how to do that. So... We're kind of just figuring this out as we go. It's a birthday present for my son because he really wants one. Um, but I will tell you guys, um, so if you want the cut list or a shopping list, go to her website. But I will tell you guys as I'm going along what I'm doing and what I'm having problems with and like how I'm doing it. I don't know if that's going to be helpful or not. I'm a novice at this. Um, I've helped my husband build stuff before some, but I've never actually just got the chop saw and everything out on my own and just did it myself. So... Pray for me. But yeah, so Anna White, like a whole bunch of stuff in our house comes from her website. She has amazing designs. But so we are gonna start by cutting some wood. So let's do this. All right, y'all, so quick update on how great <laughs> this is going. So I got the chop saw set up, <laughs> but then I tried to turn it on and it wasn't working. I'm like, what the hell? Why aren't you working? I'm looking all over for an on and off switch and I can't find one. It wasn't plugged in. It's plugged into the extension cord, but the extension cord wasn't plugged in. So that's how things are going. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> Feeling so small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out, so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Drive a faster car Lay my troubles to rest Blow the smoke through my cigarette City lights looking fine And I know this is my time now I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Alright y'all, so the cutting is finished I'm gonna go ahead and show you the cut pieces And go through like what I did um, just because I kind of did, so I did it a little bit different. I used what we had, so just to give you some ideas, so you don't just have to buy a bunch of wood. So also, the entire time I was filming, I was thinking, well, at least I'll get to catch the moment where I chop off my finger. I will have it on video. And let me show you the cut list. All right, y'all, so the two by fours are 96 inches long. I went ahead and um, measured them just in case they were a little off, but they're, they're exactly 96 inches. So those were good to go. And then the way she told us to do it is for the one by, or two by sixes, 
Um, you cut one 36, two 24s, and a 12 on one board, and then you do the same with the other board, so you can save wood. So we've got our 36s here and here, and then I have two 24s under here, I think. think these two down here are 24s, and they, I didn't do anything with those. Um, these 24s right here were cut at a 30 degree angle, not parallel. These are going to be your supports, so it doesn't fall over. And then you have these 12 inch ones. These are for the handles. They're two by sixes as well. And then the other two things I cut, I don't see them. Where are they? Are you hiding? You are hiding. All right, so we have our dowel. She didn't say how long to cut these. She just told me that she used a one inch uh, and she had it left over for our closet rod. And so I did a one foot because she said one, one one inch by 24 inch dowel. So. I just wanted to make all my cuts. So I did all of that on the chop saw. And then this guy I did on the table saw. I don't know if this is paint grade or stain grade, to be honest with you. It was leftover from a project. Uh, she tells you to use a one by eight, but I was looking at the one by eights and I'm like, I'm not paying that. This project was actually more expensive than what she said it was going to be because wood prices are ridiculous right now. So these are the seats. They are 17 inch by a little over seven inches. So they are just leftover wood. I don't need a hit to believe that I'm living. You can lock me up if my tongue keeps slipping. I'ma keep spitting up rhymes I'm digging. And you can be my fame. Don't need a fast car to imagine I'm tripping. You can light it up, girl, I ain't the guy judging. And baby, that's on me. I don't need a boost. This is every part of me and everything I do If it's the money part you're digging me I will take you to a place downtown But if you don't like Y'all, so the next thing I did is I used a spade At least that's what my husband calls it This is the one inch I used the one inch on this 12 inch board This is where the handle's gonna go through So, and I also cut off the corners at a 45 degree angle I cut it um, one and a half inches in That's where the mark is just so it's a little safer, not so many pointy edges. So I have two of those, ta-da. And then for this guy, um, this is where the bolt goes through, where it moves. So these are 5 8 inch holes. I used the spade for that. I used the 5 8 one. Um, and then I also cut off the pointies on this just to make it a little safer. It doesn't look perfect. It was actually kind of rough, but whatever. It's an outdoor thing anyway, so it'll be fine. So I did two of those. This is the 24 inch board. So you have two 24 inch boards. This one is the ones you drill a hole in. And then there's another 24 inch board that you cut the 30 degree angle on each side. Those are the supports for it. So that's these two guys. So that's where we're at. All right, y'all. So I went ahead and I put it together. I totally didn't film it because I didn't feel like it, so there we are. Um, my mom helped me, we worked as a team, so I don't know how easy this would be if it was just one person. Um, and when I tell you what I had problems with and what I didn't, just remember like I've never actually done a woodworking project by myself before. So there was a lot of trial and error in this, so let me tell you guys what I had problems with and some of y'all are gonna be like, yeah, you should have thought of that, but just be nice. Be nice. All right, y'all, so we have the pieces separated right now, but we did put it together. Um, they're separated because I'm pretty sure my five-year-old, or almost five-year-old, won't know what it is as long as they're not next to each other. So, let's start. The first thing you do is you attach these guys to this, those two, right? Um, so I did this and I actually ended up having to drill extra holes because I didn't make sure that these guys up here were square, so, I had to take them out and redo it because it was not square at all. And when I drilled these guys, I used a spade and I drilled them at the same time. So these holes all line up because I drilled them at the same time. And also, you need to make sure whichever, like if I drilled in the middle but I drilled just a teeny bit off, I need to make sure that the they're, they're the same direction, if that makes sense. So if I flip this one around, they might not line up quite right. So these line up now. And then we put these guys on the end. That was pretty simple. They don't need to be perfect. Uh, it's wobbly because it's on a map, but it is just a teeny bit wobbly anyway. These guys are 12 inches in and they are sandwiched in between the two boards. So those I didn't really worry about like where they were, whether or not they were flush or whatever, I just put them in. 
Well, these don't necessarily matter. They're 12 inches in from the bottom on both sides. Well, that doesn't really matter. The holes, where are they? The holes. <laughs> these holes, they have to line up. So we put it all together and then these holes didn't line up so we had to take it apart, get the holes to line up and then put this, the handlebars back on. All right, so now I'm ready. I'm gonna go ahead and sand and stain these. And the other thing I wanna tell you guys, I haven't put the seat on yet. So I'll show you guys. So I have under here, these are the wood I'm using for the seat. I have this foam pad. I got it from Hobby Lobby a long time ago for a doll bed. Or I, well, I got two of them for a doll bed. I used one for the doll bed and had an extra one. So it is, I'll tell you guys later how big it is, but it fits if I cut it in half on both seats. And then I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday and I went into their clearance section and it's different in every Hobby Lobby, but they have a section where they keep all of their um, like fabric when they have just a teeny bit left, they go ahead and roll it up and they sell it for a lot cheaper. So I got this fabric. It's like super obnoxious and not my style, but my kids will love it. So that's where we're at right now. And it was only $7.64 and it will cover both seats. So, and the foam was only a few bucks. I think it comes in packs of two though. the cloth to one side just one edge and that is the edge we put near the handles just so we didn't have to try to fold it over after and then we butted the seats up against the handles um, and that was one inch padding and I already guys told you guys about the um, where I got the fabric from and then as you can see I'll show you guys so we used washers here and then also in between, wherever the wood touches wood, and then on this side as well. And this is a 10 inch, 5 8 carriage bolt. But that is it, y'all. It was about $49 for the wood. Um, I, the only scrap that I had was the 1 by 8s that were supposed to be for the seats. And then maybe another, you spend another 10 bucks for the padding and the outdoor cloth. So that, and that includes the bolts. The woods and the bolts were $49. So you're looking about $59. Um, if wood were cheaper, it'd be a lot cheaper, but wood is just so ridiculous right now that it just is what it is. All right, y'all, so if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, please leave them below. And as usual, please subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.